Uh, the Josh in this is not me, by the way. This is uh, Blow Blacks. Speaking of uh, BBC posting, we got a guy who made his entire identity about blowing blacks, apparently. Uh, nuke time. Month ago, ago, month or so ago, Blow Blacks went on a schizo rampage in my DMs, begging me to delete the tweet I am quoting here. After I obviously stood my ground, he got super aggressive. When that didn't work, he just started rambling in my DMs until I stopped responding. Lamau. Next time Blow Blacks fires up a tipster bully stream, I want you to keep in mind that he has no principles and only dislikes tipster because tipster was mean to him. Blow Blacks acts exactly like tipster and KON, I don't know who that is. Little things do get to him, he's a ticking time bomb. I didn't want really ever plan to post the DMs, but I've had people contacting me saying I've heard through the grapevine that something happened. I've never told anyone that, so Blow Blacks was clearly talking about it behind the scenes. After that, I was comfortable with posting. Um, so he blocked this fine person named Agamid. I don't know who the fuck that is. This is Blow Black saying, Can you please delete the tweets? Sorry to ask, but I've legit had a mental break. <laughs> it's time. It's time. I can't. How do I? I've never tried to do like a pink guy voice. It's time. No, you have to. You have to like really fuck up your throat to do his like gravelly voice. That's why he stopped doing pink guy because uh, Joji wants to sing, and the pink guy voice is like in such a register that it like damages his vocal cords. So he just stopped doing that. He says it's time to stop. Sorry for the trouble. I know it uh, sounds gay, but I do do legit need a mental refresh. I'm gonna touch grass for a week. I'd appreciate it if you could do that for me, so I can leave for a bit without this stress over me. He says, they're just goofy tweets. I don't think it's that deep. He says, I'm asking for a favor, not an opinion. No offense. I swear, I don't I don't tell you to do it anymore. I know it's frustrating and not a big deal for most people, but I just like this thing in particular taken down. Sorry for being weird. And he says, also, you said you chill if I'm going through shit. Um, asking me for a favor, not an opinion. Lol, you can take that attitude and go kick Matt Jarbo's boulders. Matt Jarbo's reference completely. <laughs> the way I organize these things, chat, it's like a fluid motion from one topic to the next. You don't even know it. You don't even know that you're onto a different thing until an hour, an hour into the stream, chat. It's like I never even stopped. Uh, my tweets are like literally screenshots of what you said on Twitter. I don't know why it's bothering you so much, but you should figure it out and fix something before meaner before someone meaner than me <laughs> um, starts picking up on the shit and it blows up to a con or t who the fuck is con or tipster level? Pretty retarded tweet like mine shouldn't bother you like that. So you lied. So you lied. <laughs> When you said you'd delete shit about me if I said I was going through it. You just can't do that and expect me to respect you. I also said no offense, you fucking pussy. Um, then this guy says, The context of what you said blank, and you were already getting ass blasted by the rest of the lowercase i internet, so I felt fine deleting my shit. Comparing that shit to me posting screenshots... Of you having a funny overreaction to Tom is completely dishonest. Did anyone in chat explain what KON is? I don't know what KON is yet. I'm, I'm leaning forward to read chat. I don't see any. I see one person who has told me what KON is and it doesn't seem right. Um, and he says, look, in the fucking mirror, bro, you're asking a 1K follower Twitter account to take down three tweets about shit you said so that you can rest easy at night. <laughs> I like this guy. He's got that. He's got a good level of sass. A good level of sass. Razzmatazz. It's a VTuber convention. Kang of Nogs. King of Nothing. That sounds right. King of Nothing sounds right. Um... And the Nick is Nick to Oreo. This is so weird. We're like in parallel world where Josh refers to Blow Blacks and Nick refers to Nick to Oreo. You know what I mean? And July refers to a month. What, what what bizarre dimension have we teleported ourselves into, chat? It's like everything is bizarre, oh world. He said that in June and July, Josh had a massive spurg out in DMs. He won't leak them, so he's definitely not going to. Is this before or after this one? This is way after. Apparently it was crazy enough that he was going to drop Josh, but then Josh sent him a picture. So this is Nick DeOrio saying this. Um, Nick DeOrio, who every time I've talked about him in recent recent past, has been positive, chat. Positive. 
Crazy. Uh, with a hospital wristband and said he'd just been diagnosed with a condition that is behind all of his behavior. He said that since taking medication, he is no longer irrationally hates Tommy C. <laughs> chat! Chat! Please, chat! I need my... I need to take my stop hating Tommy C pills. They prescribe it now. It's called Tommy C Lexicon, and they prescribe it to me. So I don't hate them anymore, chat. <laughs> I need my Tommy C pills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sorry, I'm I don't know what I just oh, hold up. <laughs> there's um there's this meme and it was one of the f my um the favorite memes of cat party on the Kiwi Farms. They would um <laughs> he would replace this the, the the box on this with 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 whatever was related to the topic at the time. And the moment I said <laughs> the moment I read that sentence I um immediately thought of of this. Hold up. Wait. Okay, here. You guys, are you already... It's so fucking obvious what I'm about to do. But this this was literally what was inside of my head. Like, the, the fucking nanosecond. The nanosecond that I read that. This exact image, exactly what you see, pops into my brain. And it's, like, like amazing nostalgia from when t uh, Cat Party would post this shit in the general chat on the Kiwi Farms. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Sorry, that's really... I don't know if this is funny to everybody else as it is to me, but it's really funny to me. <laughs> it continues. So everyone kept putting up with him, but then a month later, he took it back and said a girl just convinced him he had it, Lamau. So he didn't even he didn't even need the, the, the stop hating Tommy C pills was a placebo. He didn't even need it. He was tricked by a femoid into taking the stop hating Tommy C pills, and it was all fake bullshit. What a dipshit. She's like, oh, did you take your stop hating Tommy C pills? Yeah, they work great. I love him now. I love his accent. New Yorkers sound so sophisticated. And she's like, oh, well, you know what? It's not real. It was just a sugar pill, idiot. And then he just looks like the biggest fucking asshole that's ever walked the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Josh was also asking people for money, which combined with all his spurg outs made his commentary friends think he had a drug problem and they were having conversations about whether he would need rehab or something more. Nick thought it was a coke because Josh did coke with Juju the cow at VidCon. And so this guy is literally taking stop hating Tommy C pills and also begging 1000 follower drama Twitter accounts to delete posts about him so he can sleep at night and diagnosing himself with BPD. And the root cause of this is that he hooked up with Juju the cow at VidCon and a 40-year-old man, someone like twice his fucking age, gave him blow. And now he's like a cokehead, like Nick Ricada. This is this is how he does it. This is how he did it with Nick, um, with Ricada, how he did it with Blow Blacks, how he did it with Beto. He just, in Ralph, he just gives these retards fucking coke. He's like a drug addict. He's like, um, <clears throat> who's that black guy that raped a bunch of girls in Romania? Andrew Tate. He gets them all doped up and addicted to cocaine, and then he's their dealer, and they can't they can't say no to him anymore. It's like he's literally doing that. Um. <coughs> Why I think so. This is sensory stories by Nicole. Why I think autistic people are often accused of being manipulative. Autistic person and another person have a misunderstanding. Other people accuses autistic person of something based on their perception. 
A tested person feels they have defended, they need to defend and explain themselves, so they do their best. Then OP slips into an ever so light understanding of an autistic person's view, view of things, but doesn't want to accept their own version might not be the full story. So they tell themselves to snap out of it. Josh sent Nick this. Oh, so Nick is calling, Josh is calling Nick autistic. That's funny. They're, um, is it F? Oh, no, okay. I was confusing that with somebody else. Interesting. Interesting. You know, all Josh had to do, all Blow Blacks had to do was stop something for trannies. Don't forget, he literally zeded at some point that the Kiwi farm should be bombed and he simped for Queen Cafals. Well, where has simping for Queen Cafals gotten you, my boy? Only one of us is being forced to take the stop hating Tommy C pills. And it ain't me. There's two Joshes here. One of us defied Queen Cafals until he was forced into hiding and abandoned the internet completely. And the other of us sent for a tranny and the gash wound. And now one of us is taking the stop hating Tommy C pills. And the other of us, one of us, the other of us, the, the better of us is free to hate Tommy C as much as they possibly want. Every second of every day, hate for Tommy C flows through me. I am like a dark magician, and my magic is my hatred for Tommy C. I am empowered. You are not. That is the difference between us. I hope Queen Cafal's at least put out, bro. Okay, that was actually way funnier than I thought it would be. Oh my god, there's more. Oh my, the, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm like a junkie. Juju the cow gave me some fresh blow blacks content, and now I'm just all jumped up on it. Um, so uh, he replied on Reddit saying, I'm actively on medication for this mental illness, got meds from ER visit. The t Stop hating Tommy C pills. Uh, but I'm not officially diagnosed yet. I've asked Nick for money. <laughs> 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 Nick the Oreo. Nick the Oreo. Please. Please, Nick the Oreo. Give me money. I can't afford my stop hating Tommy C pills, and I really need them. Please, Nick the Oreo. You know how expensive medicine is in this country. I need just a little juicer, just a little refresher. Until the YouTube money comes in again next month. Just a little juicer, Nick. Bro, if you... <laughs> if you're begging Nicholas the Oreo for money for psych meds, it's over. You lost. That's a, if you're if your life was a fucking video game. That's when the game over screen would pop up and you'd get your fucking score because it's over. You fucking blew it. <laughs> you were sent. You were gifted by God to live in the United States and be white. And somehow, at however fucking old he is, I'm guessing he's like twenty something. You got the game over screen and you got the bad end. Okay, it's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the medication I was prescribed was quetiapine, quet, quet, quetiapine, which is used for by borderline personality disorder, among other things. I was going to have a follow up appointment where I thought I'd get the BPD diagnoses. But it was just a routine automated type check where they asked if I still needed the meds or not. I do need them. I can't live in I can't live without them anymore. They've become a part of my routine. I feel very well balanced and focused. I need a constant supply. <clears throat> I'll do whatever it takes. I'll even ask Nick Nicholas the Oreo for a little lender. <laughs> Hi, Blue Blacks. Sorry that you're going through this. Quetiapine is an antipsychotic medication that can be prescribed for sleep, bipolar disorder, and is a booster for antidepressants, as well as for psychotic disorders like schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. I was wondering, wait, did he, does he have borderline or does he have bipolar? Because usually when you abbreviate BPD, you mean borderline personality disorder. But some people confuse that and they think that bipolar disorder is BPD, but it's not. BPD is almost exclusively borderline personality disorder. You just say bipolar. <clears throat> I was on it 
for a year and I do not have a diagnosis for borderline or bipolar. I work with a few individuals prescribed it for reasons that are not BPD. I would ask you not to self-diagnose yourself with a personality disorder. Those disorders in particular should be handled by a professional. I know you have autism, but do you have ADHD? Because the behavioral struggles with ADHD and interpersonal relationships can kind of look like BPD. Same with some symptoms of autism. I would not jump to a serious personality disorder just based on which medication you were given at some research online. He says, you're right about the self-diagnosis, even though I'm convinced I have it. I wasn't going to say anything publicly about it, but you did anyways. Um, I'll take your advice and not act like I have BPD unless I got diagnosed from now on. I officially, I am officially diagnosed with ADHD on meds for, as well as high-functioning, high-fructose autism. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm, I'm, I'm full of fucking giggles today. Uh, <laughs> high-fructose autism. Uh, social anxiety disorder on meds for dude you're on like a lot of fucking meds bro <laughs> dyslexia and some stuff related to my physical health so you're like all fucked up and gimpy too cool bpd and ecstasy thank you for watching this clip by colonel J. this is the king of bold here Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.